The culture of the Pennsylvania Germans of the 18th century was deeply influenced by religion. A small group of celibate men and women spent their days preparing to enter heaven. One of the disciplines they practiced for body and mind was the creation of Frachter Schriften. Uh, although it started here at Effort as a religious expression, when it first appears in other German communities, it's usually the minister or the school teacher that's one of the initiators of the frock tour. And the pieces that are written are celebrating often religious events within people's lives, such as a wedding ceremony or a baptism. Well, it all came from religion. However, in frock tour over the years, the secular thought took over. So that when a traveling Proctor artist in the late 18, early 1900s went through the countryside and would stop at a house and say, uh, have there been any births or marriages? They'd agree on having a Proctor created. Uh, what decorations would you like to have on it? And the wife would say, well, I have a red cardinal that sits on my windowsill every morning. I would like to have a red cardinal one because that has some meaning for me. Some of the more colorful and controversial artistic expressions of the Pennsylvania Dutch are the geometric designs painted on barns, commonly known as hex signs. Were they painted on barns to ward off evil spirits? Or were they just an outward sign of a superstitious farming community looking for a divine intervention? It's curious to me that when you talk about the barn stars, uh, nobody knows for sure if they were purely decorative or if there were symbolic purpose to them. Um, most traditional scholars would say that they were just, as the Pennsylvania Germans would say, just for nice or just for so, just for decorative purpose. Uh, my favorite one is centered in the Disselfink, which is the stylized Pennsylvania German birds. Uh, the legend is that the Disselfink evolved from the goldfinch. The Pennsylvania German farmer saw the goldfinch land on the thistle in his field and it would pull the thistle, the fuzz from the thistle to line its nest, the down of the thistle, and it would eat the thistle seed. So he started, the, the German farmer started calling it a thistle finch and with his German accent he was misunderstood as saying thistlefink, or so the legend goes. But it became a symbol of good luck or good fortune, the thistlefink, because it helped eliminate the thistle as a weed in his field by eating the seed and taking the down from the thistle.